Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 1 of my new career mode. Now this is with England and it's going to be called Roy's Replacement. Now for those of you who have not seen the news, um, basically Roy Hodgson has been uh, has resigned from England uh, and basically what I'm going to be doing on here is kind of continuing on from where he's left off. So basically what I've decided to do is set up a career mode. I'm kind of Man City but we won't actually be focusing on Man City at all. You won't see any of the Man City stuff hopefully if this is done properly and uh, it will just be about the England team and trying to get the England team um, to like the finals and trying to win the Euros and the World Cup and that sort of thing. So it's going to be called Royce Replacement, it's episode 1. Um, if we could go hit 25 likes for this video that would be really appreciated. Also if you haven't already then please go hit the subscribe button as well, that would be absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to do something a little bit different, it'll go alongside Leeds career mode and I'll be doing um, a Dortmund career mode on FIFA 17 I think, that'll be up next um, because I'm quite looking forward to doing that so I just thought I'd let you know about that in this episode. But for this episode, what we are going to do is um, start to get our England team up to scratch a little bit. We need to have a look at the uh, selection first of all. That is what we're going to do. Uh, decide what sort of team we're going to put together. Because obviously the campaign that we've just had going out to Iceland wasn't great really, was it? Uh, to say the least. So we are going to have to change the team around. We're going to have to try and get in slightly different players. Uh, maybe try a slightly different style to obviously the one that Roy Hodgson tried and uh, didn't really uh, execute particularly well. So we are going to first of all get rid of Fraser Forster, I think, out of this setup. Um, he's only 76 overall, which isn't particularly good. Um, so we're going to look for some other keepers. And the other ones we've got are actually worse than overall. There is one, though. And it is Ben Foster, who is 79 overall. Now, if we look at his stats, he has got, um, obviously, vastly uh, better stats. Um, so he looks like the obvious choice for us, Ben Foster, but he is 33 years old. I don't know whether we should or not. You see we've got Jack Butland in there, he's very young, so I think I might actually just chuck in Ben Foster, because we've already got Jack Butland in there as our young keeper. Now, I'm tempted to get rid of Joe Hart out of the squad, but I don't think you really can when he's 84 overall. Um, he's obviously got really good stats. I know he's had a very disappointing uh, Euros, so we will keep him in, but just, only just, he stays in. Um, seven defenders at the moment. Again, do we add an eighth in there? Do we get another centre back in? These are the sort of things I'd like you to let me know in the comments about as well. Scott Dan is available by the look, so we've also got the likes of John Terry, Phil Jones uh, are all available. Obviously, John Terry would be an interesting one uh, to get back into the setup. Up. Uh, but we are mainly looking to try and bring in younger players, uh, which is something we're going to be trying to do. Luke Shaw is currently in the team. Uh, he replaces uh, Ryan Bertrand, who I just didn't really think uh, was particularly good enough to get in the squad. We've got the likes of Milner in there as well. Again, not too sure whether he, should, whether he actually should be in there, to be honest, uh, because we've got Walcott available too. As Berahino will be an interesting one to try and bring in as well. Uh, Fabian Delft, many people don't like him, so he might well be the first person to leave us. I'm not a fan of him in real life. So we're going to bring in Mark Noble um, to give him a go. I think, you know, some people will argue that he maybe should have been in the England setup. Uh, I'm not too sure myself, but we'll give him, uh, him a go and see how he gets on um, in the first few games. We currently have four strikers. That means that Daniel Sturridge misses out at the moment. So we might have to get Daniel Sturridge in here. But Wayne Rooney could be one that leaves us, but possibly here. Obviously, he's the captain. Uh, but again, that's another one for you guys to let me know what you think about that in the comments. Do I get rid of Rooney or do I keep him in the team? So I think we'll get rid of James Milner, bring in Daniel Sturridge, and that will be our squad for now. Uh, it's obviously not going to be the final squad because we will make adjustments to the team, and as players uh, underperform, we'll take that out of the squad setup and that sort of thing. Also, to help us, I've decided to be Man City and bring in some of the England players, so he can actually control their growth a little bit. I've not I've not brought in every single England player um, because I didn't really want to have to change around the squads or anything like that. So I've bought a few players um, and we'll be able to upgrade those as and when we need them. So Rashford currently isn't part of the setup, but when he becomes a better player and when we train him up, he might well be able to uh, come into our team. So we're going to bring in Rashford there. And we've also got the likes of Jack Butland um, available to us to train as well. There's quite a few players I'll go through here. Uh, we've got some fullbacks there. Danny Rose, Carl Walker. We won't actually try and upgrade those just yet. Because uh, the other players I would like to try and upgrade first. We've also got John Stones uh, that we are going to try and upgrade. Um, we'll do this for a few weeks, um, these upgrades, and hopefully try and get them up in overall. Which means we can use them a bit more frequently on the international side of things. Deli Ali, another player that we can train as well, he's available to us. And as we go through the years, uh, we will be signing more of these players for Man City. 
um, so we can actually train them up and do those sort of things. Raheem Sterling's also another player that is available for us to train. So I think we will train him up. He does need to obviously improve after the Euros, um, where he was very shaky throughout most of it. So we'll train them for this week, see how they get on. Um, as you can see, they have gone actually up by quite a bit, especially Deli Alley there uh, flying up. So now let's move on to the very first England game. We're going to skip all the Man City stuff. Um, like I was saying before, we won't have any of that in. Um, so we're just going to sim straight to the internationals and see how we get on. Quickly before we get to the internationals though, I have uh, also started a scouting network as well. Um, so that means we are going to be scouting England for nine months and we're trying to find the best young talent around. Uh, that is another way that we're going to try and integrate some of the younger players into the squad as well. I just thought that would be a decent idea for us to try and do. Here we go, this is the squad that we can select from for the up and coming internationals. There's two games, one against Turkey and I can't remember the other one that we are against. Uh, but I think they might actually be qualifiers these ones. So we will just go with the squad that we came up with before. Just kind of see as a starting point what sort what our players are actually like uh, and then we can obviously make additions to it and take people away from the uh, the setup if we would like to so let's go ahead we've got a game against turkey we've also got another qualifier against is that poland i'm pretty sure uh, could be wrong there though i'm pretty sure it's poland uh, but these are world cup qualifiers Okay, this is the team I'm going to go with for the first international against Turkey. I've decided to go with a 4-2-3-1 formation, and I've decided to also mix things up a little bit and try and find out a little bit more about some of the players that I have available to me. We've actually started Mark Noble uh, in midfield for this game alongside Eric Dyer. I want to see what Mark Noble's like. I want to see uh, how he plays, whether he's suitable to be partnered alongside Eric Dyer or not, and Harry Kane starts up front Still think Harry Kane could be a very important player for us, despite having a very poor Euros. He is going to start this game, and we do have many other options on the bench if we need them. So let's give this a go. We're going to play the game against Turkey, try and beat them, try and get the first three points of our World Cup campaign for the qualifiers. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Portugal have already got three points. Rooney will be taking set pieces for us to start with. Not Harry Kane, just to confirm there, uh, but not a great corner in. I think that was mainly my fault for uh, directing it wrongly. But uh, off to a decent start, won a corner quite early on. We just need to now prevent this counter-attack, which Smalling does brilliantly. I'm hoping that Smalling and Stones at the back could be a really good partnership. No way. All for the bar, and they've scored. 32 minutes in, Turkey have gone 1-0 up. It's been really quiet in terms of chances. That is their first shot. Uh, we've had, I don't know actually if we've had one ourselves, uh, but it has been a very quiet game, this one, to be honest. Not too much happening. And we've gone down 1-0. Originally they hit the bar, and eventually it was finished into an open goal. And it is 1-0 Turkey. This is where we've now needed to try and rebuild the team. Obviously this is our first game, um, so it was never going to be a perfect side. Anyway, it's about a building process, which will take quite a long time, I'd imagine. Uh, but hopefully we can do it in time for the World Cup. Um, but yeah, we weren't, we weren't really expecting to, to win this game too comfortably. Obviously, you, you maybe would expect to win this match, uh, given the team that we have. Um, but still, I'm trying to re rebuild the team a little bit. Uh, but we got, do have Vardy trying to put one in. It's not a great cross, is it, from Jamie Vardy? Maybe I should use him more as a, an impact player off the bench. And that is it for the first half. Still losing the game 1-0. Not a great first half for us. Not too many shots uh, either, uh, which isn't great. Uh, we might have to change something around here. Maybe the formation. I'll be back once I've done something. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to a 4-3-3. Brought on Lalana, and I have taken off, as you can see there, taken off Wayne Rooney. Uh, subbed him, trying to just change things around a little bit. Rooney was obviously out of position. And uh, to try and correct that, we're going to bring on Lalana um, in a position that he's a bit more familiar with. But Harry Kane was surely through on goal, and that's going to be a free kick. Can we have this one on target? Oh, God, let's give it to Harry Kane. That's never a good thing. Can we change it to maybe Eric Dyer from this range? 27 yards? I think this is Eric Dyer range. Let's give it a go. Can he just curl this one over the wall? Eric Dyer! Oh, he curls it over. Barely put any power on that one as well. Such a disappointing uh, effort, but uh, certainly better than one that Harry Kane would produce, surely. Okay, some more changes. We are also going to bring on Daniel Sturridge and Danny Welbeck. And that means we are going to be taking up Harry Kane and Jamie Vardy. Changing to a 4-4-2 diamond formation now. And uh, going to give that one a go. Obviously, I won't be changing formation quite as often uh, in the future. But I need to just find our best team, first of all, uh, during the qualifiers. And obviously, uh, the friendlies, if we do have any. Oh, what a shot from Deli Alley! Out for a corner. There's not too much longer left here. Can we maybe put it to the edge of the box? Adam Lallana will take it. Mark Noble's there. Not very well hit, really, was it? That one from Mark Noble. No way, surely not 2-0. Oh, my days. 
tried to play the offside trap, it didn't work, and I just thought I pushed uh, Chris Smalling up far enough and it hasn't worked. What a poor start this is to the qualifiers. Tried to move Chris Smalling forward as you can see there and he's just ran through. I thought it was going to be offside to be honest, uh, but I kept on going and he scored anyway 2-0 and that is two goals for Tosun. Okay, that is it. We've lost the game 2-0. Not off to a flying start in our uh, World Cup qualifying campaign. So we do need to move on to the next game now, which comes up very quickly after this one against Poland. And we need to change things around because it quite clearly didn't work, that system. I'm going to actually continue with the 4-4-2 four, uh, four, four, uh, diamond formation that we went with before. Um, but I'm just going to have to change the players that I'm using because they clearly weren't good enough. This week we're going to try and uh, train Marcus Rashford. We're obviously going to use all five slots just for him. We'll simulate all of them this week as well, just before we get on to the Poland game. And as you can see, he's gone up um, nearly on a few of the attributes. He's got closer to going up anyway, and uh, he will be obviously getting closer to the next overall shortly. Let's change around the team and uh, try and come up with a better side than the one that we uh, played in that last game. And this is the team that I've come up with. So quite a few changes for this game. Again, gone with the formation that I was mentioning before, the diamond formation. Luke Shaw comes in, Gary Cahill also comes in, but Stones isn't dropped. I've actually decided to play him as CDM for this game, purely because Eric Dyer is quite tired, so I've decided to rest him for this match. Uh, Henderson also comes in, Jack Wilshire does as well, want to try those two out, see whether they are England worthy or not. Uh, Ross Barkley comes in at centre attack and mid, and Jamie Vardy and Danny Welbeck partner each other up front. That means we've got a very strong bench there, obviously. There are a few players that miss out here. Deli Alley was just a little bit tired. Mark Noble didn't have a great game, to be honest. But I thought I'd give him full 90 minutes, and he didn't really perform too well. Um, so he might well be a player that doesn't really make it into our squads next time. Uh, but again, let me know what you think about that in the comments. I'm interested to hear. Let's move on to this uh, next game against Poland. Try and beat them. Well, Beck, you can have a shot. Oh, so close to going in. Didn't feel like I could keep going, uh, otherwise I, I was going to get intercepted, I think, there. So I had to have a, a, quite an early shot, and it has just gone past the post. I thought it was just going to sneak into the bottom left-hand corner, uh, but it is still nil-nil. Oh, no, it's through Lendowski. Gary Cahill's got the wrong side of him. A good save from Joe Hart. Fantastic, in fact. Uh, luckily, it wasn't too close to the corners or anything like that. It was fairly uh, straightforward in the end. Can we get it into the back post? Barkley! Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. We needed a goal there, and we didn't get it. Wilshire looking for Jamie Vardy. He's just about found him. Going to cut back onto his right foot. Back to Welbeck. It was supposed to go to Wilshire, but it's 1-0. 33 minutes in. We've got ourselves the first goal of our World Cup qualifying campaign. And a decent finish from Danny Welbeck, even though it wasn't supposed to be him that was guessing on the end of it. He does manage to slot it past the goalkeeper, and it's a very good move there. Really good move, in fact. Vardy just cuts back inside, and uh, I think Wilshire just about leaves it there for Welbeck. 1-0. Danny Welbeck trying to burst forward. It's a, a no K pass from Jordan Henderson to begin with. Welbeck still going, going to cut it back to Henderson. Yeah, one of the players that's on trial, really, for us at the moment, and he's not doing himself any favours. Well, they're looking for Vardy again. I think Vardy is part of my strongest 11, to be honest. He has played fantastically well. Uh, shame about that pass inside to Jack Wilshire there. But that just that burst of pace really helps us going forward. And that is it. We are winning the game 1-0. It is half-time. Uh, we will make some changes. We'll try and make our team a bit stronger because this still isn't our best team. Uh, we will be now trying to pretty much put our best team out. Okay, all three changes at half-time. I brought on Eric Dyer, taken off John Stone, was brought on Wayne Rooney, and also brought on Adam Lallana. So that means Henderson and Ross Barkley come off. Now, I think Stones is someone that I will be starting instead of Cahill, but Stones is obviously very tired, so I've had to sub him for that. And uh, Henderson didn't play particularly well. Same with Ross Barkley, didn't do that well in the first 45 minutes. Uh, so I'm trying out Lallana and Wayne Rooney, um, just to again get an idea of what my starting eleven should be when the tournament comes up. Assuming, obviously, we qualify for the World Cup. You never know, we might well not qualify, but that will be a bit of a, a disaster for us. So we are winning 1-0. Let's see whether we can get ourselves a second and maybe even a third goal in the second half. No way. How has he snuck it in? Oh my days, that is awful. And that's Joe Hart's fault, is that? Oh my days, no way has he snuck that one in. And maybe I back off a little bit too much here with Rooney. Should have put in a foot, uh, but <sighs> Joe Hart, you've got to save that, your front post. Through to Vardy, it's a brilliant pass from Adam Lallana. Vardy on his left foot. Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. You've got to score those, though. You've got to score them. Oh, through to Vardy. 
It's gone in. It's 2 1. Oh my days, 90th minute. Jamie Vardy scores. He saved us here big time. How has that one gone through? I thought it was going to be offside, to be honest. Milana into well, like, tries a little chip and it somehow got through. Deflects past the keeper. Oh, so fluky that one. Uh, but we definitely deserve it. We About time we got some luck as well. And it's 2-1. This could be our first three points of our qualifying campaign. I thought we were going to lose it here. Uh, but we just managed to get ourselves three points. It's virtually the last kick of the game. Finally we've done it. First three points. And that moves us further up the uh, qualifying tables. As you can see, look at the stats. We deserve to win that. So I'm happy that we did get a very, very late goal there. Uh, as you can see, Russia drew with Turkey. Slovenia beat Portugal 1-0. So there's going to be a bit of a shake-up. It might well be Slovenia, I think, on top here. Uh, but we'll again have to have a little look at that later. Uh, so we'll be back for the next episode uh, in a couple of days' time. And uh, we will be playing against Russia sure, and then uh, Slovenia. We'll be the other one. I thought it was Russia twice then. Uh, but no, we do have the two more games uh, in the next episode to play in the group stage to try and get us qualifying for the World Cup. Thank you all for watching this episode. If we could go hit 25 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Also, if you haven't already, then please go hit the subscribe button as well. And let me know what you think about my squad selection for the current team that I've got. Um, for the next uh, set of internationals that I'll be doing in the next episode. Who do you want me to change, and obviously who do you want me to get rid of and that sort of thing. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.